Hi, Danny Grace and Jude. So this is it all put together, dynamic glucose management in one page. So what we're trying to do is combine the glucose values and trend arrows with proactive diabetes management to keep, stop the highs, stay in target and prevent those. Now we've already been through on the previous videos exactly how to do it. So this is just a real quick recap, but this page is all you need. And from the website, theglucoselemonalyze.com, you can get download this. So pretty simply, stopping highs, just for a quick recap, in between meals, if the glucose level goes high, forget the correction doses and start doing some exercise for five to 10 minutes. Decide how much time range you want, set your high level appropriately, well, according to that, and then when your high level goes off, then do the appropriate amount of either jogging on the spot or rowing, whatever exercise you're gonna do for five to 10 or 15 minutes, and then you should see the full effect of that in half an hour, and you'll quickly get that glucose level back in target. Set is all about staying in target, making sure you start that insulin before eating because we know that insulin from injections or a pump works much more slowly than insulin from the pancreas and also the insulin is not in the portal vein, it's in the outer circulation. So there's two very good reasons for that. Balanced meals, obviously half a plate of veg, quarter carbs, quarter protein and then 10 minutes of activity after eating will just make sure that you don't end up needing to do gain um, after eating. And then match, which is preventing lows, making sure you tailor the amount of carbohydrate glucose treatment that you need. Always use glucose and only sugar, remembering that pure glucose gets into the bloodstream within 20 minutes, whereas sugar takes a lot longer to get absorbed and only half of that sugar, because half is glucose, half is fructose, actually treats the hypo. So you prevent double treatments. And then change the amount that you have based on the glucose value and trend arrow so you don't end up giving too much or not enough. And the final bit, have patience. Wait 20 minutes once you give that hypo treatment or prevention to stop it from coming up. So that's it in a nutshell. As I said, you can download this from theglucosenevelize.com and hopefully you, Grace and Jude, this will make your life with diabetes much easier and you'll be getting towards 80 to 90% timing range.